Mario Cristobal has let it be known. He told Brett McMurphy, and I know ESPN did not want to give him credit for that report, but it was Brett McMurphy over at uh, the, I forget what he works for again, the Action Network. I was going to say the Athletic Network. Uh, the Action Network. He told Brett McMurphy that they are dropping the turnover chain. They are done with the turnover chain. Uh, and then he went on this morning and talked to First Take about it. Uh, he said that we have to establish a standard. We have to reestablish our DNA where everything is done to a championship level. Uh, he did say that uh, we're just moving in a direction that right now does not involve the turnover chain. Stuff like the turnover chain typically pops up organically. It's it's more fun. It's something I think we saw it a lot with college baseball this year. I think uh, Texas a and with the Pringles cans and uh, – whatever, uh, Tennessee was doing something at one point. I forget what it was. But regardless, stuff like this happens just organically. You don't have to force it. And it felt for a while like the turnover chain was a little bit forced. Like you would see Miami being down by three touchdowns, and yet they get a turnover and they run over. And there is something to the idea of getting kids excited even when they're behind in a game, giving them a little bit of belief, giving them something to have fun with so that it's not just the dregs. Right. What I'm curious about is what, you know, you don't want this to all be, I mean, these are college kids, right? And Mario Cristobal understands this. You don't want it to be just all business and no fun. Even in Alabama, they've got a bunch of different things. They've got a a W, whatever, a wrestling belt that is a turnover belt, right? But they've had all kinds of stuff. I, I went to a game at Ole Miss back in 2016 and they had a hatchet on the sideline for, like, big plays or whatever it was. I think our Darius Stewart was one of the guys that was actually carrying that thing around. It's like a big axe that they just had on the sideline. So I'm I'm interested to see what they end up doing here. I think it was smart to go ahead and just wipe everything out from the past decade plus. Just get rid of all of it and redo it. Re-est- like, establish your own culture. Figure it out. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I know there's a lot of people that were against them dropping the turnover chain. I'm not against it at all. I think it's a smart idea. Get rid of all of the funk that was there before and come in and rewrite this thing. I think it's smart. Start with a fresh board. Fresh board. Let's do it up. Let's do it up. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.